Here, big hand for Doug Stanhope. Boston! Wow, that introduction was longer than my whole fucking act. Good to see you writing your own material still now. Yeah, I won that competition. I won a, also won the uh, 1990 Gene State Penitentiary Cellmate Dream Date competition, too. <laughs> They don't mention that, though. <laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> Jesus. What is this fucking thing? How long did it take you to put this together there, Al? Yeah, I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. We got Boston people there? Who's from back east? Back east people? <laughs> Where are you from, really? What part? Baldwin. Huh? Baldwin. Baldwin. You notice that you know a lot of people out here. You know, back east is anything from the other side of the showboat on. You know, <laughs> it's like yeah, you from back east? My cousin is back east. Yeah, where at? Charleston and Nellis, man. <laughs> crazy. Well, I get this get this coupon in the mail today. Which is bullshit because there's no mail on Sunday, but it makes a joke sound better. Get this coupon for this Hawaiian style pizza. Have you seen this stuff? It's got like like pineapple chunks and paper umbrellas and shit on it. Where do they come up with this? My roommate eats this stuff. It's like all happy. He say, "Give me the number for Domino's, man. I'm gonna order that pizza." I said, "Fuck you." I said, "Fine. I give him the number for an escort service." Hi, I'd like to order an extra-large Hawaiian, please. <laughs> Not too greasy this time, okay? Thick crust, extra cheese. Yeah, he was pissed off when she showed up. Pissed off till he found out she's about three dollars cheaper than the pizza. <laughs> People eat some nasty shit, man. They put nasty stuff in their system. Yeah. You see this Keystone beer, man? Is that fucked up? Bottled beer taste in a can. I mean, is that is what a gimmick, you know? Wouldn't you just order a fucking bottle? No, gonna have a gimmick. Good. I mean, now you, you order a beer nowadays, it's like, well, do you want light beer taste in a regular beer? Do you want draft beer taste in a bottle? How about bottled beer taste in a can? I don't care if it's frosted mug taste in a fucking Dixie cup. Give me a beer. Thanks, <laughs> I can picture like 50 years from now, you know, telling my kids, you know, no, now's your age. We want a bottle beer taste. We had to drink it out of a bottle. It's like everything's gonna happen. I go down to Florida to see my mom. You now she she takes me out to dinner, orders alligator off the menu for like 19 bucks, just so I could say I ate alligator. No, oh, thanks, mom. I'm not eating a fucking lizard. She's saying try it. Try it. it tastes like chicken. I say, mom, chicken's on the menu. It's only 4.95. And guess what? It tastes just like chicken. <laughs> it's a gimmick, man. I can picture God, you know, creating a world up there with his advertising people saying, Alligator, we need a gimmick. I get it. Great chicken taste in a reptile. <laughs> I don't know. Weird shit people eat. Like a cow. I used to be a vegetarian until I... I really get a good close look at a cow. That's not a fucking animal that looks like he wants to live, you know? I'm sure the first person to eat the cow out of sympathy, you know? But what I was wondering, who is the first person to discover that a cow gives milk? And what did he think he was doing in a cow to figure this out? person to actually eat an egg, you know? What was going on? Did they like lose a bet? <laughs> was it like, all right, Larry, 
tell you what, Jesus can really walk on water. I'll eat the first thing that comes out of that chicken's ass. <laughs> Good thing you didn't point out a dog, huh? That'd fuck up an omelet. Wow. So you guys, you guys actually paid to get in this place tonight? How much you pay? Five bucks. Five bucks? They get, it's five bucks, but then you get like the two dollar discount for military ID, airline ID, hotel ID, student ID. If you paid five bucks to get in here, that's proof you don't have a fucking job, man. <laughs> they should have two dollars off for a fake ID. <laughs> it would cost me less. Like these wonder boys over there could figure out a fake ID that smacked them in the ass, huh? <laughs> I give him this fake ID. It's like a, it's like a Kansas City Rotary Club bingo membership card. That's got like a picture of a 68-year-old black woman on it. They're like you're cool. It's crazy. I don't mind looking young though. I was in a kitty porn for a while. Pissed off the cats a lot. Sure, you didn't boo for Al's stupid fucking introduction, but you'll boo on a kitty porn joke. Thank you very much. No, I don't mind looking young. Uh, you know, I can still bang high school chicks. You know, that's cool. When's the last time you did that? Three weeks ago? Yeah. She's still trying to get out of the trunk of your car. It's nothing like when I was in high school, though. Man, nowadays, you know, 16, 17 years old, these chicks are all burnt out, man. You want a fresh one, you gotta catch them before they cut teeth. <laughs> no, seriously, I picked up this girl, picked her up 17 years old. I go over to her house, pick her up, ask her dad real polite. I said, what's her curfew? He says, have her home by Thursday morning to bring out the trash. <laughs> I go to the, uh, the bathroom, they got a rubber machine in there, John. <laughs> Man, I'm like wicked happy, I'm saying 17 years old, what do I need a rubber for, you know? She's probably still a virgin, right? Bullshit. Cause if I didn't figure out she wasn't a virgin then, I did two weeks later in the VD clinic. <laughs> And everything from syphilis to sea monkeys, man. My balls feel like a pair of maracas. My dick looked like something on the inside of a lava lamp. Here's this same chick's picture on a wall. It says, mention my name for 10% off. Jack! Jack's a resident heckler. Jack's very quiet tonight. You know, this is just a one-night stint for you? You don't heckle no more, huh? Jeez, can't see why. Anyone remember Jack from a few weeks ago? I remember Jack. Jack got a haircut. Was that a haircut, or did you, like, get shaved for surgery? What? <laughs> anyway, we'll leave Jack alone. Jack, you ever had sea monkeys? Ball weevils, man. That napalm piss. It ain't safe nowadays. Man, I just stay home and jerk off nowadays. It's the only safe way. You jerk off a lot? Whenever you get the chance. I sit home all day, man. Spanking my goofy. I'm getting good at it, too. I can switch hands without losing a stroke. I use a sign language manual as a sexual positions guide. Now, I spent so long jerking off, you know, just thinking about women. Now when I'm actually with a woman, I have to think about jerking off. It's crazy. It is tough, man. I know all about jerking off, though, because I used to be married. 
marriage is just legalized prostitution, only it costs more. And you're paying for pussy that you don't want. And you're paying for pussy that you don't get. So it all works out. But is he married? Have you been married? You get married? No? Married people here? Make some noise. Well, there's only a few suckers in the house tonight. Yeah, when you get married, there's no more hers and mine, you know? Everything's ours all of a sudden, you know? I bust my ass 40 hours a week to pay the bills, come home, she'd be standing there still in her bathrobe watching Oprah saying, I hope you didn't spend all of our money. <laughs> what kind of... I say, no, but I will if you don't give up some of our pussy. <laughs> Wow, uh, women in tough. Women in tough. Serious. I found out that, I mean, they say women have a higher tolerance for pain than men. You know, and that might be true. But these ladies have no tolerance for words, man. I mean, you can slap a chick and leave a bruise for a week. You know, but you call her fat just once, it'll fuck her up for the rest of her life, you know? I find out there's some things you don't say to a woman, you know? Like, don't ever tell your girlfriend that you would never hit a woman. How many people believe that that's wrong? You'd never hit a woman. <laughs> well, we got Wife Beaters Association here tonight. <laughs> it's good to believe that, but don't ever tell your girlfriend that, because I broke up with my girlfriend and she kicked my fucking ass. She remembered that shit, and God forbid, that one word, that it's the nuclear warhead of the marital dispute, the, the dreaded C word. Don't ever drop the C word. Have, have you ever called your old lady the C word? Man, she goes from rag to human fucking wind tunnel. It's like, what did you call me? You son of a... No words, just wind, you know? I didn't mean that! Crazy, crazy stuff. So anyway, new subject, new subject. What'd you do today? Yeah, you went to the Alzheimer's convention, obviously. <laughs> Brought my cat to the vet today, man. Yeah, that's why it cost me so much. Yeah, no, I would come home. My girlfriend's all complaining, cat couldn't, cat had blockage in his urinary tract. You know, you don't want to drink through this, it's fairly disgusting. I come home, she says, you gotta take the cat to the vet, the cat can't piss. I say, so? I said, how do you know this? You know, how do you know? She says, the cat was squatting in a box, he's in there for quite some time, nothing came up, the cat can't piss. So well, shit, if I was trying to take a leak, and I had someone doing this stuff to me behind me, I'd probably retain some water myself, for God's sakes. You know, throw him a copy at a time, shut the door, it'll be fine. So take the cat to the vet. I take the cat to the vet. 479 bucks it cost me. I said, what'd you do to this cat? They had to run a catheter through the cat to release the urine from the bladder. It's a true story that I'm just making up. Release the urine from the bladder. I said, great, the cat has a hard time taking a piss, so you just up and run a hose down his dick? I mean, come on. I said, when you wake up with your morning boner, it's a little hard to piss at first. You know, do you like step back and review your options? Or do you just like up and twist the crazy straw down your dick? <laughs> Stupid. He says, 35 bucks, I could have called Roto Rooter to come over with a snake, man. He says, well, he's fine now, but if it happens again, I said, if it happens again, we're going to sit home and watch him swell up and pop like a fuzzy piss balloon. Because I'm not paying another 500 bucks. I mean, I don't mind paying for pussy, but come on, you know? Anyway, went to the Mirage today. You been down there? My girlfriend wanted to go see the dolphins down at the Mirage. You seen the dolphins down? I figured, fuck it, I'll go. I mean, I've done stupider shit to get in someone's pants. I thought it was free, though. They want five bucks to watch dolphins. 
Five bucks, well, I can watch reruns of Flipper for nothing, man. Five bucks, I want entertainment, you know? Let me ride a dolphin, you know? Stick my dick in his blowhole, that'd be worth five bucks. I get a call from my agent today. Well, there's a collection agent. Like I'm the only guy who fucked over Columbia House Records and tapes, huh? Who fucked these people over? Make some noise. Who fucked over Columbia House? God love you. Well, they deserve it, man. It's like you buy 13 albums for a penny, and then all you're gonna do is buy seven more at the regular price, which is cool. You know, the regular price is what, like $9.95 for an album? Then they add in, like, shipping, handling, processing fee, tax, tag, title, shrink, wrap, surcharge. You just paid $44 for Juice Newton's greatest hits. And they wonder why they get fucked over all the time. It's crazy. So you guys like all look comatose right now. <laughs> single guys here tonight? Any, any of you guys single? You guys in the back. The guy from Boston had to be. What do you think your chances of getting laid tonight are? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you what your chances are. Okay. Slim and fucking none, partner. Because I was figuring it out on the way over here. And there's like, there's what, 500,000 people in this town. You know, so it's a given like half of those are women, right? So then you figure about 40% of those are between 18 and 35, and, well, shit, half of them look good, at least after a couple of drinks, right? So then you figure about 30% of those are single, and maybe 20% of those are willing. From that, you figure about 25% have their period right now, another 25% have PMS. Now you figure, from that, about 50% you couldn't afford anyway. 50% of those wouldn't take you on a bet. 15% are working right now. 6% can't speak English. You take out for lesbians, Mormons, and girls with a yeast infection. Buddy, you're not getting laid tonight. You got me. You know, that leaves like one chick, you know? And that's that fat Hawaiian girl that's chasing my roommate around the kitchen table. My name's Doug Stanhope. You have a great night. Did I tell you or what? <laughs>